Hi, this is a video to show off a new module for Microsplat. Uh, it's for doing low poly looking uh, terrains. It's a very popular thing. Uh, so I thought I would uh, throw some ideas into the ring and make a little module for it. So uh, I have a terrain here which is textured with some sort of cartoony, toony textures which we can use to show off some of these features. Uh, the first thing is that per pixel normal is enabled. Uh, in 2018.3 or greater, uh, Unity has an option to enable per pixel normal on instance terrains. If you use that, you don't have to enable it here, uh, but this is needed for a uh, for one of the effects. Um, I've also disabled height blending and disabled normal maps for now because I'm not using any, and that just saves a little bit of calculation. And uh, so let's try some of these features. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play with the hard-edged normal. And so what this will do, let me find it here, here we go, is uh, light these triangles as if they are flat uh, shaded uh, without, um, without smoothing. So if I set that to triangle and then I come over here, I get a two parameters here. One is uh, terrain size. This will show up if any of these effects are enabled. It's sort of uh, a core value that's needed for these effects. Now, usually you're going to set this to the size of your height map, uh, but you can set it to other things if you're playing with, you know, different looks and things. It might be useful. And then um, what you will see over here, where we have some lighting, is that we get these flat shaded, uh, hard edged looking areas now where the lighting is, is happening. And if I change the edge hardness, I can, I can go to a smooth shaded or blend it towards a hard shaded. I'm just going to leave that all the way on. You'll notice that this doesn't really complete the look, uh, but it does give you that low poly uh, lighting look, which is very important. The next thing I want to turn on uh, is called flat texture. And when this is enabled, you can, uh, what it'll do is it'll treat each texture in the texture array as if it's a palette rather than teaching it, uh, treating it like a texture. And so what will happen is each pixel will look up the same value when it's on the same triangle. So what this does is give us a little bit more of that stylized low poly look where now we get triangles, they sort of get randomly colored based on, um, based on what colors are available in the texture and it gives us a, a little bit more of that low poly look. The final thing I'm going to turn on is called wireframe. And this is at its core essentially a wireframe rendering and it has some options. Uh, it has world space. In world space option uh, what it means is that the the size of the wireframe is going to be based on perspective. So you can see that far away, we can barely see the wireframe because it's so small, and close up, it's nice and big and fat. If you set this to screen space, uh, then it's going to be based on the size of pixels on the screen, and so you're going to see that uh, the wireframe gets thicker as it gets farther away, and it, or really just has no perspective, and um, is more like a traditional wireframe overlay. I'm going to put this back into world space because I think that looks a little softer and nicer. And then you also have a wireframe, a wireframe blend property. Right now it's set to color. And if we go down to our, our uh, low poly section, you'll see that I have a color here. And I have two values to control the wireframe. One is the thickness of the wireframe, and the other one is the smoothness value. And so I can use these to get really tight uh, wireframe looks or soft or hard edged looks by playing with these values. Um, There we go. And another thing, uh, another option is the blend mode. And I'm going to change this from color to saturation brightness. And what this means is instead of just drawing a color over the terrain where the edges are, instead what it's going to do is give us a saturation and brightness control. So we could, for instance, desaturate these edges or oversaturate them. And whatever color the terrain is, is going to get picked up on that edge. So we go over here, you can see as we change the uh, saturation levels on this, you're going to see it uh, get glowy or darker, really grayer, and then you can change brightness 
as well if you want. And so I like that because it's a little more contextual to the train and gives you kind of a nice outlining effect as opposed, uh, as opposed to like a single color wireframe which looks very artificial. Um, but either might be useful for your game. And finally, what I want to talk about is the this, this space that these are in. So we have them set to triangle right now. They are also able to do quad-based shading. And uh, so what this will do is switch all the triangles to be quads and basically perform the same task as before. And let me go ahead and switch my wireframe. And now what we have is quads, low poly shading. Um, and so because I'm doing this all in the pixel shader, I'm not using any of the traditional techniques. The way this is normally done is that you convert your train into a mesh and then you duplicate every face uh, so that you have nice hard edges. Uh, but that obviously raises the uh, texture count, I mean, sorry, the uh, vertex count quite a bit. Uh, and it makes it a lot more expensive to draw. Another way to do this is to do that same work, but do it in the geometry shader. But geometry shaders are not supported on many platforms, and they're also very slow. So this method works entirely uh, in the pixel shader and uh, has the advantage of uh, being very, very cheap and not requiring duplicating all those verts or using geometry shaders. So I may add some more things to this. I, I'm really interested in what people uh, would like to see here. Um, I do think it works pretty well and uh, can give some good looks. Um, and yeah, if you have ideas, things you'd like to see, stuff like that, let me know. I'm always around and uh, hope you like it. Thanks.